Hey guys, this is Brian aka Texas Treasures and today I'm starting a new series. This will be the 40 best selling men's jeans on eBay and I will do a deep dive into each brand starting at number 40 and going all the way to number one. I'm going to try to do one per day. Um, all right, so let's talk about the methodology. When we say best selling jeans, what I did, I'm going to walk you through the process. I'm also going to show you how I did the research and give, and give the insights and the takeaways. So please stick around all the way till the end. Um, what I started with is I started on eBay. That makes sense, right? Just typed in jeans, men's, um, filtered by pre-owned. Over on the left-hand navigation, if you see the brands, I collected see all brands. If it opens for me, all right, I don't know why it's not opening, um, but that pulls up all of the eBay brands, and then I filtered by the 40 brands that had the most volume in the, there we go. Oh my goodness, we're running really slow. In the last, uh, this is the last 90 days, and I picked, I picked out brands that had 1,000 or more sold listings in that active day, in that active range. Then I went to Terapeak, which is the real workhorse of eBay research. Um, my 40th, my 40th ranked jeans are Liberty jeans, okay? And so if you type in Liberty jeans, by the way, if you go into my eBay and you go into the research tab, right? You type in Liberty jeans, you can custom the date. I went from January 1st to December 31st. Today's the last day of the year. Happy 2024. I filtered under condition by pre-owned and that gave me the number of jeans that have sold and um, let's go through this data okay so the ASP and I've also created I'm creating a, um, a, a, a sheet which that way we can have all the data from all the genes and we'll go through that at the end <clears throat> okay so when you look on when you look on Terapeak <clears throat> excuse me it gives you the average sell price of 2473 gives you the range the average shipping the percentage with free shipping the total sold Sell through rate will only do this if you set your filter to 90 days or less, but I'm going to, I've already calculated this and I'll show you how to do that. Total sellers in the total um, value. Here you can see the average sell price by uh, time. It looks like in April it peaked, um, but it's pretty steady between that 20 to $30 range. This right hand arrow right here, if you click it, It'll give you the total sold. This is all good data to look at. And you can see, uh, it looks like April 17th, May 22nd, we had the lowest. And these kind of peaked in October, all right, which kind of makes sense with jeans. So in the fall, it seems like these are selling the best. Um, but they're pretty steady between around 50 to 75 pairs are selling per day. That's, that's pretty, that's not a big dip I wouldn't think also you can get the average sold and the total sold price there and this um, this will also give you the price buckets um, you can see that 834 sold between between 28 to 52 dollars and the biggest bucket is between 3 to 28 that's a very big bucket all right what other data do we have that might be noteworthy um, market share you can look at what percentage of the market is going to which sellers. It's kind of the 80-20 principle. All right, so let's get back to let's get back to the first screen here, and then let's do let's begin our, our deep dive. All right, so if you look at um, let's filter first all first of all by sold date, most recent, right, and and let's look for trends, right. We can see um, one, two, three. We've already had three sell this morning. Yesterday we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We had ten sell yesterday. So you can see these are selling daily. Um, and, and here's the thing that stop that stands out. First of all, these are overalls. Overalls seem to be Liberty overalls. Liberty overalls. There's a pair of jeans, but most of these are going to be overalls. 
So if you see Liberty overalls, you know this is an item that's going to sell on eBay on average for $24.73 plus 11 in shipping. Um, here, these sold for 18 plus 9, 29 free shipping, 24, 9, 21, 8, 23, 8, 15, 4. So probably around this 24 plus shipping is where I would be listing them. Um, let's see if anything else stands out. Uh, this is this is good for finding keywords too, right? Carpenter, Carpenter Workwear for these jeans. We'll open up a listing here to, to take a little closer look. Um, bib, farm, workwear, these are all good keywords it seems like. Farmer, carpenter, uh, overalls, obviously you want to put the size in there, pinstripe. Um, here's something else I like to do. When you have a big, a, a big amount of items you're looking at, let's sort this by highest price. Oh, that's lowest price. <laughs> so these are what you want to not do. And let's look at highest price because it's always good to see that top market. These are bolos that you'd be on the lookout for. Look at this. Vintage Liberty Hee Haw 70s uh, Liberty 40 by 36. So this has, if you if you see this, if you see this, pick it up. Hee Haw. Um, that's an old, my grandmother used to watch Hee Haw. I remember way back when. It's like a, con a country music um, television show. Uh, so those sold for $249. What else do we see? Uh, nudie, those aren't, those aren't the right one. Liberty overall is a lot of two, so you could lock two of these up. Now, now see this right here? This is something, this is a takeaway. So the Liberty overalls with a red, white, and blue American flag patriotic style are selling for the most money. 100 plus shipping, 90s, 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 80s, 80s. So right away, if I see red, white, and blue Liberty overalls, I'm definitely picking those up. Um, 60s, 70s. Now we're kind of getting to vintage. And, and this is another good thing. When you're looking at the, the highest selling ones, what are some of the keywords? All right, so what, is, what makes these special? These are vintage. Here's some good keywords. Painter, grunge, distressed work. Those sold for 64 plus free shipping. A uh, farm truck, trucker, hipster, bib, vintage Y2K. So the vintage makes sense. They're going to be selling more than the more recent ones. Um, you'd want to look at the tag. Are they made in the USA? Or are they these red, white, and blue? Um, these red, white, and, bl and blue ones. So let's see if we can look, on, look at one of these a little further. Okay, so these sell for 79 plus shipping. Um, okay, where'd you go? Come back, come back. All right. <laughs> so there you got the red, white, and blue overalls. Uh, let's look at tags. I'll, knowing what tags look like is important. So there's the Liberty tag. Uh, do we have one that shows where it's made? Um, 32 by 32 is the size made in Vietnam. So these are not going to be vintage ones. Um, let's do this. Let's look at a pair that are vintage, right? That will close for me and look at the tag. Uh, here we go. Oh, that, and that one isn't recent enough to click on vintage. I'm looking for one. Some, they, you can only look on the ones, you can only click on the ones that are last 90 days. See these vintage made in Mexico, made in U.S., and then our manufacturing began to spread out to um, to Mexico. That's one of the ways you can look at. I'm trying to find a vintage USA made one that we can look at that tag. As our manufacturing began to to move out of America in the 80s and 90s, it typically went to um, went to Mexico, um, and then began to spread out from there, but farther away from the U.S. I'm trying here stick with me guys i'm trying to uh to find one that we can that the link let's do this if we do the the date last sold um because you can you can click on these within the last 90 days and then i want to i want to show you the data that i did right before making this video 
um, for the sell through rate, the ASP, and the takeaway. So if you're finding this content valuable, please hit that like button. Subscribe. We're going to be doing this. This is 40th. We're going to go all the way to number one. We're going to be doing these deep dives. This will help you improve, improve your knowledge on men's genes. Um, all right. Let's see if we can find one of these. Uh, I'm trying to find one vintage. Maybe if we look at this one sold for, that's a lot of two. Uh, that one doesn't say vintage. We're looking for vintage. We could type in the word vintage in the uh, the search tile. But as you can see, most of these are not vintage. They're still selling for that twenty to thirty dollar range. So I would pick up any of the vintage ones for sure. It's going to say made in the USA. It's going to say made in Mexico. Um, I'm also picking up the red, white, and blue ones. You know, if it's vintage or red, white, and blue. That I'm probably, I'm okay, probably spending, you know, up to $20, to be honest, based on the ASP. Now, if it's, it's the more normal ones, which you're more likely to see, they're selling between 20 to 30. So I'm probably good paying $5, maybe $8. Um, it's going to depend on your, your business model. Um, now, let, let's look at the data. Let's look at the other key factors. So what I'm doing is I just, again, created this. This is number 40, Liberty. We had 3,324 sold. Oh, did I show, show you that? Let me make sure I can I don't remember if I showed you that. So if you look on the condition filter, you select pre-owned, it gives you the number. This is under sold. Um, and then if you look on the active screen, it shows you there's 1,358 active. So there are 3,324 sold. 1,358 active. If you add these two numbers together over the past year, this will give you this will give you um, the total number active and sold. And if you if you take the number active divided by that total number sold, um, so I'm sorry, total number sold 3324 divided by the amount active for that year. You add these two together, it's going to give you a sell through rate of 71 percent. The average sale price is $24.73. So would I pick this up? Absolutely. What are my key takeaways? Um, vintage and uh, red, white, and blue sell for, we'll just say 50 plus. And the regular ones seem to sell around $25. So, um, so that's our deep dive into Liberty. Tomorrow, or I'll be making the number 39 ranked jeans, and we will do this deep dive into all 40. So, I uh, hope, hope this is valuable. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell to be notified. We'll see you on the next one.